if you've tried for uh, weeks, months, or years to try and get an embedded VLC player in a C sharp form, uh, you're going to speak my name with holy dread and weave a circle around me thrice because after this video you'll know how to do it. First of all just click on file and new project and then call it uh, VLC UC and click OK and we come up with the regular form and the first thing you have to do well we should make the form larger so we can put a nice player in it but the first thing you need to do is right click on the uh, root of the solution explorer and click add and then say uh, new item and user control actually I think you can select user control directly too and that creates a user control tab and then the next thing we want to do is go into the uh, toolbar and right click on the toolbar and click on choose items and make sure you've selected the COM components tab uh, this assumes that you have VLC installed installed on your system of course and we want to go to VV1 which is actually the VideoLAN uh, ActiveX plugin and version 1 is the one I've always used I'm not sure whether version 2 is any different or whatever but you've got to make sure that you click the checkbox this is another gotcha I used to always just select this and press OK and it does nothing. You gotta click the checkbox and then click OK and then you notice in the uh, the toolbox you'll or the yeah the toolbox you'll now have uh, V space V1 which is the ActiveX plugin and what we want to do is associate this plugin with this user control and you notice in the references we don't have any references that will allow us to access it and the way we do that is we just double click on it and that puts a part of the icon in there and it also adds the references AX, AX VLC and AX VLC to the references which is critical and in order to get a better looking icon what you want to do is go down to uh, dock and select full. Full is actually the window in the middle here and then you get the nice VLC icon and so on and then we want to go up to debug and do build solution and that will actually build the uh, user control which is now associated with the VLC ActiveX and then in the form we want to drag over the uh, control uh, position it nicely and resize it and then add a button and give this a meaningful name like uh, BNT play oops or BTN play Hungarian notation and go down and put the play text in the button another thing we want to do is give this control a more meaningful name right now it's this big long name just call it uh, VLC and then double click on play to go into the uh, event handler for the button the play button and before we do anything else we want to add a using to be able to access these uh, controls 
So I do using AX, AX, VLC, the reference we needed to add. <coughs> and then we use an open file dialog in order to select the file, just call it OFD. And instantiate it in the usual way. And then say if OFD dot show dialog equals dialog result dot OK, which means the user actually selected a file name. And put the parents around for the if body. And then we want to use our VLC control to do an add target. And your first impulse will be to just say OFD.FileName for the file name. And then for the options you can put Null. And then for the playlist mode you can put Probably a good selection is Playlist, Replace and Go. And then the position start at zero. And this actually won't work. And the problem is if you look at this the, in the definition, they don't want a file name, they want a URI. So you'll need a protocol to prefix the file name. So what the protocol we want is file colon slash 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 and then the uh, the file name that's a major gotcha and if you've gotten this far and and gone insane and overturned your desk and punched your fist through the door and run outside screaming got arrested by a passing patrol car now you know the answer and then the only thing we need after this is VLC dot play And I think we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, well, we need a semicolon. So if we compile and run this, and then press play, and say select a file of demo, and this is an old video I did on a program I wrote called Linda. And it's so old, it's Linda 102. And it's all actually Linda's up to Linda 360 something. But as you can see, it works. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.